Now to day four, the trial of Joel David Chavez III. He's the man accused of killing Gracie Espinosa and her unborn child. An investigator assigned to the case took the stand today, reading hours of text messages between the defendant and the victim weeks before her death. Our Alex Cano takes a closer look into some of the testimony heard by jurors today. Control, cheating, and fighting, if you were to describe the relationship of Gracie Espinosa and Joel David Chavez by those who knew of their relationship. Testifying on day four of the trial was investigator Raimundo Garcia. Chavez is accused of killing Gracie and her unborn child. For several hours, investigator Garcia read text messages between them. I never meant to tell you off and more, but I was bored. I wanted to call you. I miss you and it hurts having thought you wouldn't break up with me. Paragraphs of Chavez talking to Gracie about their relationship. Please, baby, remember when I left that you told me you wouldn't break up with me, please. Baby, just remember how I felt and that I told you I was scared to lose you. Uh, I didn't want to lose you. Later, surveillance video of Chavez leaving work the night before Gracie was found dead was shown to jurors along with footage from people who had been in the area where her body was found. Then jurors heard Chavez for the first time. Garcia telling Chavez about Gracie's death. More than five hours worth of interrogation video was shown, some parts skipped by the state on day four of the trial. Police pressing Chavez on more information relating to Gracie's death. Photographs taken by police inside the apartment Gracie and Chavez shared were shown in court. Gracie was found dead September 10th. The search warrant was granted September 14th. For KGNS News, Alex Gano. All right, thanks a lot, Alex. Now, also on the stand today was the defendant's own father, a former member of the Laredo Police Department. The state called upon Joel David Chavez Jr., a retired Laredo police officer of 33 years. He was asked how he knew the defendant. Chavez responded by saying it was his son. In his testimony, the elder Chavez said he had gotten a phone call from his son asking to be picked up at his apartment. The witness said he noticed a police presence in the area, but mentioned that to his recollection, they didn't talk about it. He also said his son was like, was quote, like he usually is and didn't pay attention, any attention to it. Now on the subject of Gracie, the elder Chavez said he did not approve of her. He also told jurors that his son mentioned to him that they had argued and that she might have left. There was also reference to her driving the defendant's vehicle without a license. Then there was a bombshell moment in the testimony when the prosecution asked the father, quote, is that when Joel told you he killed Graciela? To which the defense immediately objected. Prosecutors then wrapped up by asking the witness, you love your son, right? To which he responded, yes. They then turned the witness over to the defense. They declined. The state rested their case. The defense also rested about 10 minutes later. Closing arguments begin tomorrow morning at 9. You can find the very latest information on our trial at our website. That's at kgns.tv.